and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the huge news that is supposed to be coming tomorrow. Now, there's plenty of hints, there's plenty of things to go over, and for the most part, we probably have a pretty good idea of what it is, but there has been times in the past, guys, where we have known what it is and it wasn't that at all now for the last thing that was coming out it was it ended up being the gronk you guys remember the unretired the snow shovel we predicted that it would be gronk it was paul revere on a horse in boston it, it kind of lined up for gronk we had lynch in there just as a backup option just in case because lynch was also just coming back from retirement and going on to the seattle seahawks so that was pretty cool it ended up being gronk so we were right on that one it was kind of obvious now there's a new hint for wednesday which is one of the last days of the promo and might actually be our last big set drop or one of our last big pieces or anything before the new year happens and now the promo is and uh so like sets end i think I believe january 3rd but last year was something like that too but it didn't really it didn't really have anything else after the new year i was just like the last few days where kindling was allowed and like packs were still there and nothing really new came out and they just ended it this might be one of the last drops maybe they'll give us like a new year type drop but it does say last days of winter so more than likely it might be the end now guys don't forget it is the last day of the 25 days of food miss all you do to enter as per usual subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below the secret word here throughout the video and your console do those things you're on to win guys this will be the last day you hear this intro which is kind of a relief because I was getting kind of tired of saying it. And I'm, I want my comments to be back to normal so I can answer all of them. I, I, I just see giveaway comments all the time. It's very spammed. But guys, enough of that. Let's get into this video. So, as you guys know, coming over to sets, we just got a brand new Zero Chill set, which was the Gronkowski set. So we now have three masters for the Zero Chill. For the Ghost of Madden, we have one future, one uh, present, and one past. Now, it appears that we might be getting another past, or we'll be getting an LTD. Now... We are slated to get some present players and some past players. So I don't know if they're gonna do an entire new set or they're just gonna toss them in there. If they do, if these do come out within sets, that does mean we'll be getting a whole present set and a whole past set, which I feel like is kind of excessive. I don't even think they'll do that. I would love if they did it, but I don't know if they actually end up will. Now, I'm gonna head it over to uh, the other screen so I can show you guys the screenshots and kind of go over what we expect from there. Now for this one, I did take my cam link off, or should I say my webcam, because I did want to be able to show you guys some of the cards in the binder. Now you guys have probably seen this picture already, but this just further solidifies what we already thought we would be getting. So as you guys know, like I said, they did announce that there will be one last drop. Well, they didn't really announce it. They leaked it. Craylo was trying to show everyone the Sean Taylor stats. And when you change the lighting in the background and you kind of change the brightest and the contrast, you can easily see the players behind. So I don't think I really have to zoom in, but I will a little bit for you guys. So as you can see right here, we got Julio Jones, 95 overall wide receiver. That has not come out yet. So we're expecting it to come out tomorrow. Now, there was another hint that pretty much solidifies will come out tomorrow, which I'll show you guys after this part. Next, we got Marvin Harrison. Kevin Moway and John Randall. Now these look like a perfect setup for Snow Beast, which we did predict, but I don't know if that's actually going to be coming out just yet. I mean, there's only a few days left, so I feel like if it doesn't come out tomorrow, then it probably might not be coming out, which does mean this sets up perfectly for another Ghost of Pass set, right? John Randall, Kevin Moway, and Marvin Harrison. Three Ghost of Pass cards on top of the fact that we think there's another guy coming, which I'll, I'll wrap that around as we get later into the video. But now the thing with Julio is that he's a present card. Now it does not appear there's any other presents. We do see a New York Giants player right there, which is kind of weird. So that could just be Michael Strahan still, or that could be a new Giants player. So I'm going to go into my binder real quick, and I'm going to compare that to the Michael Strahan that I have to see the resemblance there, because there is a New York Giants player right behind there. So let me get Strahan out. Now when we look at Strahan, it doesn't look... No, that's not Strahan. It looks like his arm's up. That could easily be a Saquon Barkley. That honestly might be Saquon Barkley. That's not Michael Strahan, I don't think, from the picture I'm looking at. And it does look like that could be a two right there. Right here, as you guys can see, it does look like a two and then maybe a six. So Saquon Barkley could potentially be coming. Now, let's zoom back out a little bit. Back to full, the full size here. So that could potentially be Saquon Barkley. It seems very likely that's what that could be. And then, like I said, if there's Saquon and there is Julio Jones, there's probably a new present set, which means that there could be a present and a past set, which would be very weird 
they haven't really dropped those on the same days i wouldn't mind it there'd be a ton of content a lot of youtube videos to make tomorrow i definitely love that but just a little just a little something i wasn't expecting now let's head on over to the next screenshot it is back on as you guys can see zero chill forecast so i kind of like the way madden's been doing this i think they should do this more often like even yearly that'd be so cool if they did this throughout the year a madden weather forecast where it just told us pretty much like what's coming up in the week so everyone always had an idea to make it for us youtubers a little bit easier so we know ahead of time so zero chill forecast so friday we ended up getting the vita bay which we expected out of position part two then monday we got the rob gronkowski which we did predict like i said and now wednesday the last days of winter we got only a couple snowmen left now it's pretty interesting so there's obviously hints within the snowmen there is a black and red scarf there's a gold and red scarf and a gold and red scarf now one quick thing is that we can't see any forecast beyond wednesday but they do usually do it in a three-day period so we'd have to get past wednesday to see if there's anything left it would be cool we won't know until probably tomorrow or today's ea stream if they do announce anything so we still have to definitely wait on that now these snowmen are giving us hints so he's losing his hat right there let's actually get into the next picture which is a little bit closer he's losing his hat i don't know if there's any relevance there i don't know any relevance in the, beyond that but i do know that they have the snowman's arms up like he's going to catch the ball he has a black and red scarf which does signify the falcons colors and he has number 11 for his buttons so number 11 falcons colors hands up like he's gonna make a catch i'm going with julio jones because we, we do know there is a julio jones coming and ironically that just lines up too perfectly so julio jones is definitely coming tomorrow i think that's pretty much confirmed at this point a number 11 on the falcons julio jones now there's two other snowmen now one looks angry one looks surprised. The word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment your comments. Once you do all this thing, you're to win. Good luck. Now, if you look a little bit closer, they're wearing gold and red scarves. Now, gold and red scarves are typically 49er colors. Now, they have numbers on them. So, this snowman's wearing number 52, as you guys can see right there. And this one's wearing number 97. So, you guys know who number 52 is, right? Number 52 for the 49ers is Patrick Willis. And as you guys don't, if you guys know, I've been telling you guys in plenty of other videos that all the Mutt 10 cards have been slated for an upgrade. I've been telling you this. Michael Vick got his upgrade. Randy Moss got his upgrade. Deion Sanders got his upgrade. Blanking right now on the others, but only ones who haven't really gotten up yet were Patrick Willis. Oh, Bo Jackson got his upgrade, but Patrick Willis, Julius Peppers, and Joe Thomas. Those are three that I... Oh, and Calvin got his upgrade. Those are the three that I remember so far. There might be another one that hasn't got one, but those are the three that I specifically remember that have not gotten an upgrade yet. So now Willis will be getting his upgrade. That's got to be Patrick Willis. So now here's the confusion, right? If this kept him away, Marvin Harrison and John Randall. And those are three pass players. I think more than likely, it would make sense if those three are the pass, like the Strahan, Mel Blunt, and the Bow, and the 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 um, set master is going to be the Patrick Willis. That'd make the most sense to me if that is how they do it, because otherwise we should have three extra pass players there. And as far as Nick Bosa, it would make sense if Nick Bosa is the set master for the present or something. And then the second contains Julio Jones, Saquon Barkley, and one other player. Now, in Kralos' binder, you can't see much more, but that's because he has it sorted by overall. And since he has every card in the game in his binder, he has every 95 overall. There's more than like 1595s there. There's more than 1595s in the game. So you can easily see, you can't see every single thing there. But it did look like there could be a Saquon. We know there's a Julio Jones, and that is Nick Bosa, number 97. So those three could be in either we don't know the master, or Nick Bosa is the master. And then we don't know the other set piece. But it's looking like. We could be getting him away, Harrison, and John Randall, as well as Saquon, Julio Jones, Nick Bosa, and Willis. We see, in that whole sequence, we are missing one more player, it appears to be, or potentially two if Saquon's wrong, but it does appear it could be Saquon. I, I mean, it could be Daniel Jones, but I really don't think it'll be Daniel Jones. I think more than likely for a Giants team, we're going to be getting Saquon. Unless it was Evan Ingram, but I doubt that too. But so far, these hits are looking super cool, guys. I'm super excited. Tomorrow's drop might be one of the most fun drops of Madden so far, especially during the Christmas promo. So I'm super hyped, especially if they drop a new Saquon, which is going to kind of suck for me because I just got Bo. And hopefully, I mean, honestly, I'm going to be honest, hopefully Saquon isn't better than Bo because I do not have the kind of coin injury right now to upgrade Bo, especially with all the giveaway winners that I've been giving away to. I'm going to be really, really broke. So hopefully I don't get bankrupt by this final drop of cards. But guys, that is about it for the hint part of this. Let's go ahead and over back to the Madden screen to close up this video. So we're back on the Madden screen, guys. Now, I do want to show you guys, if you do remember what that picture looked like in my binder, and if you look at Michael Strahan, in the in the picture, you can clearly see that like, someone had their arms up with like a white wristband, and he was holding them up like that. And unless that was the shoulder 92 that I saw, I'm pretty sure it was a hand. I'm pretty sure Saquon Barkley does have bands on his arms, as well as he's a running back. He runs with the ball up here. So I think that could be Saquon Barkley. It would make the most sense and he was a 95 
So I'll, I doubt it was Strayan again because we did see Julio. So if Julio's not an LTD, which it's just possible that in his binder doesn't say LTD because they haven't made it an LTD yet. But if he isn't, L if he's not an LTD, that means from the way this promo is played out, he has to be in fact a set card for the a present set. That's how they've done it. Whenever they if it's not an LTD, they release it as part of a set. So. Hello Mac was the present LTD, so I think Julio has to be within a set, which will line up perfectly with the Saquon Julio set and Nick Bosa set, as well as a Willis, Maway, Harrison, and Randall set. So I think that pretty much covers what we have to go over for now. Guys, something's huge coming tomorrow. This is going to be extremely fun. Probably the biggest content drop of the Christmas promo. I'm super hyped to see everything that's going to come out. Hopefully it's all good, guys. I do have three or well, two other videos planned for you guys today. I don't know if there's any daily content, but we'll find that out pretty soon. It is about like 940 right now, so... We'll know that as it comes. Make sure to check out all the other videos today for the final day of the 25 days of Poodmas. Miss. So make sure to check out every video today to make sure you enter and see if you can get your final stroke of luck on the last day. Now remember guys, to enter all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word you heard throughout the video, and comment your console. What you're listening to, to win. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.